Welcome to our lecture online. Now here is an interesting problem for us. We've already calculated how to calculate the height of the capillary action between two glass plates. We've also learned how to calculate the capillary action and the height gained of the liquid inside a tube. Now the question is, if we have two of those situations and we know that the height between the glass plates is the same as the height inside the tube, and the liquid is the same, and we know that the radius of the tube is equal to r and the distance between the plate is equal to d, find the ratio of r to d if the height is the same in both. Hmm. So I think we need to start by realizing that the force of the capillary action is going to be equal to the length of contact times the uh, coefficient of capillary, uh, the capillary action times the length of contact times the cosine of the angle between them. And let's say that in this case, the cosine of theta equals the cosine of zero degrees, which is equal to one to make things easier. I guess it doesn't have to be, but we can say that. And then what about the weight of both? So let's do the weight for the plates. So the weight for the plates is going to be equal to the weight, which is equal to mg, which is equal to rho vg. So for the plates, that is going to be equal to the density times the area. So let's say that the length of the plates is equal to L. This. So uh, that would be uh, the density times the length times the distance times the height, which is H1. That's the volume times G. So that's the weight of the liquid being drawn up by the capillary action. What about the tube? Well, the weight is going to be equal to mg, which is going to be equal to rho vg. So in this case, that's going to be equal to density times the area, which is pi r squared, times the height, which is h2, times g. So that's the weight of the, of the liquid being drawn up in the tube, and that's the weight of the liquid being drawn up by the plates. Now, let's see here. We can find the height in each case. So when we set these two equal to each other, we can say that F is equal to the weight, and we're going to start with the plates. So in this case, we have the density times the length. Uh, not the density, I'm sorry. The capillary constant times the length, that would be twice the length of the, of the plates, so 2L times the cosine of the angle theta, which is going to be equal to the W, which is going to be the density, times the length, times D, times H1, times G. Notice we have an L on both sides, so I can say that H1 is equal to the capillary action constant times 2 times the cosine of theta divided by the density times d times g. So that's what it is for the plates. For the tube, we do the same thing. We set the two equal to each other, force equals to the weight, and the force in the tubes is going to be equal to, well, that's going to be the uh, uh, capillary action constant times the length. The length is going to be 2 pi times the radius. That's the contact length, the inside radius, and uh, times the cosine of the angle theta. And that's going to be equal to, equal to, now I'm running out of room a little bit, uh, let me just write it like this, equal to the weight, that's going to be density, times pi r squared, times h2, times g. And notice on both sides I have a pi and one of the r's. Now I'm going to solve that for h2. So that means that h2 is going to be equal to on the left side, I have the constant times 2 times the cosine of theta divided by density times r times g. And so now I have the equation for the height inside the tube and the equation for the height between the two plates. Now they told us they're equal to each other, so we're going to set the two equal to one another. So we can say that density times 2 times the cosine of theta, the, uh, not density, but the constant density distance between the plates g is equal to the coefficient for capillary action times 2 times the cosine of theta divided by density r times g. 
Notice on both sides, that cancels out, the two cancels out, the cosine cancels out. So I have one in the numerator, the denominator, that cancels out, g cancels out, and I'm left with one over d is equal to one over r. So in other words, we can then conclude that d equals r, or the ratio r over d is equal to one. In other words, if we have a two plates, they're made out of glass, or a tube that's made out of glass with the same liquid, they will draw up to the same height, so the height gained through the capillary action will be the same if the distance between the plates equals the radius of the tube. Interestingly enough, it doesn't really matter what the length of the plates are, it only matters the distance between them and the radius of the tube. And you can see that if they're the same, the height will be the same in both. And that's is how we know.